I don't know what's possessing me to do this this morning. Except I need to get it done. what's possessing me to do this this morning except I need to get it done have a little bit of energy I just washed up <laughs> a song was running through my head as I was trying to put on a little mascara so you could at least see my eyes little lipstick I was thinking you're so vain <laughs> this time of morning you're not normally gonna catch me even with anything on, and at least I brush my hair and brush my teeth. Yeah, I got up, uh, let me see here, that a little bit better. I got up yesterday morning, actually took Eli to school for Kenny. He uh, took care of him when I was kind of feeling puny, so thought I'd return the favor. And I actually, since I prepared to go out, I had my makeup on and my hair. Not much better than this, but put up. And, uh, you know, my going out clothes, which are my everyday clothes. And I was going to do a car haul. But by the time I got done with the necessary running that I need to do, I just want to get home and crawl in bed. I did. Didn't crawl in bed. I actually took care of some things around here and the animals and all that. So... This morning, I thought, I got to catch up. Uh, just two days of not focusing on anything but trying to get better. You get behind. You do. So, this is a Dollar Tree haul. A few of these items were still on the table from the last haul. Uh, some of them are items that I picked up yesterday. And we're going to see how far we can get in this. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the pantry. Uh, I have soups in my pantry. And I think I've mentioned before I've got cream soups and all that. But especially after getting over a stomach bug and having had soup to get me through it, I thought I'd show you some of the soups that I would choose at the Dollar Tree uh, to put in my pantry. These will actually go in my pantry and I'll rotate some soups I have in it. I have so many different kinds. Um, but I got another tomato soup and I think I have maybe another one uh, in another haul. I don't know. But I bought these three with a purpose and that was to show you some of the soups you can get. And these are the soups that kind of settle on my stomach when I'm not feeling well. And the expiration date's April 6th of 2023. So you've got almost two years shelf life. 30% bigger, 14.3 ounces, Campbell's tomato soup. One good thing about these soups, they were all 30% bigger. They're all Campbell's. This one's chicken with rice soup, 13.8 ounces with no antibiotics. It has chicken meat with no antibiotics. So if you're a person that kind of needs a little bit of meat when you're eating, uh, you might want to get some of the chicken and rice. They say that there's three servings in a can. And the date on this one's June 7th of 2023. So it's just real handy to have here at the house when we're sick and stuff. The other one's 25% bigger at 13.8 ounces. Chicken noodle soup, chicken meat with no antibiotics by Campbell's. Also, three servings. But these are three of the soups that I choose for myself. Kenny, he likes the chicken noodle. He's not the biggest fan of tomato or chicken and rice, but he will eat it when he's sick. So, I just thought I'd show you those. Uh, it's just a random 
mix of stuff. I bought some lighters. We need them for, uh, like when we go camping, light fires. Uh, around here, it's for my incense and stuff. So I just picked up a pack of three at the checkout. And it's also good to put like in an emergency kit for if your power goes out. And that's another reason to pick up lighters. And I've got something, another haul I'll show you also that is uh, worthy of being in an emergency kit. I didn't, I bought these for a purpose. And if you watched any of my videos at the end of one, I thank Dollar Tree for helping me. Well, we roped off the driveway next door so the bigger trucks wouldn't come up. They've been asked not to. But just in case one of them didn't get the message, we uh, kind of roped it off. And then I bought the uh, crime scene tape at the Dollar Tree to put over it too. My brother got a kick out of it. My mom got a kick out of it on me to you. But we bought the rope and the stakes when we went to Home Depot. And so my husband just used those, not knowing I had bought these. And I didn't disagree with them. The rope was a little bit bigger, but I bought clothesline rope. 56 foot of clothesline rope. Includes the slide, easy to adjust, quick and easy to attach. I may just have to use it for what it's for because we did not use it to rope off this driveway. We didn't. I actually bought two of them. I guess I didn't read how many feet were in them. 56 foot, I could have made like a, you know, back and forth pattern on it. But I got two of those. I'm not going to take them back. We'll use them here. Uh, but I bought one of these dog bandanas, pet bandana. And Eli seen it and thought I had got it for Lexi. And I said, I think it's a little bit too big for Lexi, but I was actually going to hang it in the middle of this rope. And I bought it because it matched or semi-matched. But this was going to be what was across the driveway. I didn't use it. I can put these on my dogs. I can use these, so I'm keeping them. And for the value, anybody that wants one of these bandanas, I've showed you one that I bought. I think it was a black and white one. Uh, they're well worth the dollar. What else did I get? Got me some Ultra Nourishing Shea Hand Cream. Fast absorbent and quick drying. By Power Stick for her. And it's uh, I don't really see a uh, scent on it. It's vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and dye-free. But my hands are just so dry right now that I wanted to try something different. I have the Dermacil. I have numerous other. It just has a real faint Kind of reminds me of lotion maybe like we used to would have used. It doesn't really have a, just have a lotion they scent. Does anybody know what I'm saying about that? Kind of a milky, lotiony scent. It's not, feels good on my hands. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be changing and showering and all that later, but my hands will have a chance to get soft in the meantime, won't they? Because I'll be dealing with animals and stuff. Hence my, my farming dress. I call it my farming dress. That falls off of me now, but I love it. And I noticed I had a rip in the bottom. I tried to find out where I bought it from because I was going to get some sizes smaller because I bought this before I had lost the weight I lost. But I love wearing it. Uh, I threw it back on this morning. I actually wore it yesterday out. It doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. That's what I was talking about getting dressed for town. At least I had I had something on. Blemish stickers by Bolero to help detox and minimize the appearance of skin imperfections. 36 patches, non-medicated for all skin types. It's made in China. And I'm just gonna have to 
It says cleanse and dry skin, then apply a sticker on your problem areas. Remove after two to six hours. I'm gonna butcher what's in it. Sodium, carboxy, methyl, cellulose. I think I said it right. Elastomer, diacetyl acetate. <laughs> Does anybody know what that is? 100% hydrogenated petroleum resin, polyurethane film, polyurethane terephthalate. <laughs> if it wasn't this early morning, you wouldn't catch me doing this later. But that's the ingredients. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. <laughs> and that's the packaging. I can't be too vain. I'm out here, my, I'm pale as I can be, but that song will resonate in my head the rest of the day, trust me. They had the big round stick uh, pins, right? It's 90% stronger, 12 of them. I got them in the black ink. To me, it's just a good deal, a no-brainer. We're always losing pins around here when I work. I used to say I'm the pen thief because I'd get one and I'd wind up carrying it off and all that. So, uh, and it, as a matter of fact, Eli, right before he went to school, asked me if I had a pen. And I said, hey, I don't know where they're at. I forgot about these. <laughs> so, I did find them one, though. But anyway, a dozen of them. I'm into the... Uh, different colors of either lip lip uh, glosses with the plumper or some of the lipsticks. This one's actually a lip stain. I may try this today. It's a syrup kiss lip stain, coral smooches, number 1760 by Hard Candy. I love anything in the coral family, anything in the earth tone family. So I'm sure I may wear it the next time after I take a shower and stuff. I may put this on. I wonder if I can find the outfit to match this bright orange. Good for Halloween too. But anyway, it's actually hard candy and it's a lip stain. If anybody that's not ever used stain, uh, when you put it on, it kind of stains into the lips. It reminds me, I think of the henna, henna stain, the all-natural stain. I'm not sure what this is made by. Made with, I'm saying. Even with my little granny glasses, no matter what, which way I do it. The words are just too tiny. Yeah. Just too tiny. I'd have to have a magnifying glass. Gotta hide these. <laughs> if I don't, they'll all get ate at once, but it's made with real fruit juice. One pound bag of candy. Oh, gourmet. Approximately 100 pieces of fruit juice. Tropical apple, cherry, watermelon, strawberry, and orange. And expiration date, May 26, 2023. Anybody that loves these fruit cheese, they can stock it, and they're good for a couple of years. They wouldn't even have to buy them next year. But I like something like this every once in a while. Uh, I think I've said it before in order to uh, drink water a lot of times. I'll chew gum. Sometimes I'll put a peppermint in my mouth. One of these fruit cheese in my mouth is kind of letting it flavor. Just gives you a refreshing flavor. It says there's 11 servings, 10 pieces in each serving. So if I just do like one piece each time I'm drinking water, 17 calories versus how much for sodas? 220 or more. Uh, plus, I know the kids will like them, so how many I'll get to keep, I don't know. Uh, when I bought this, the day I bought this, I did not want to go into Walmart. It's a cherry pie. It's uh, made by Tasty Cake. And it is 4.5 ounces. Made with real fruit. Glazed cherry pie. 
I bought this for my husband because everybody that knows Walmart, which I don't have a Walmart haul coming up because I went yesterday, but he didn't have any cherry pods. And I didn't feel like going into Walmart that day. I picked him up a couple of those. He said, Angie, they are so rich, really rich. Uh, he loves the ones from Walmart because they're flakier, not as much sugar on the outside. Uh, so, I don't know if he'll wind up eating this one or what's in my Walmart haul. We go through a lot of tissue here. And I guess this is one of the biggest boxes I find. Two-ply tissues, 175 sheets for a dollar. You can't beat it. Just call kind of bigger value, larger size, and thicker. I do have some under the car seat, but I ran out of the one in the living room. So I went ahead and got me one because I'm always with the chronic issues I have. Um, yeah, I have to have tissue. What do I show you next? I think I'll wait for those for a different, the next haul because they take a little explaining. Well, maybe not a little, but a little. I bought one of these velvet cheese packs. Jalapeno, four ounces. I'm wanting to make some uh, chili chips and cheese or a taco bake or um, just some nachos and cheese with uh, taco meat that, you know, I think I did, I say it, taco salad. But I like this cheese sauce on it. So I bought one pack. I have some in my pantry. I just didn't know if I had enough. So if I've got more than one, this one will go in the pantry and the other ones I'll use. But Velveeta is really good and for a dollar. I know like at uh, Little Caesars, I think for two little cups of stuff, they charge 50 cents a piece and you get more, I'm sure, like this. How am I going to end this? It's getting a little long. I bought some fall... Uh, foliage, flowers the other day because I want to do at least one area for fall. You've already seen my little pumpkins and the one that lights up. Also, bought a little container I've not showed you yet and this may be too many for that container but I thought they were just so pretty. They're my colors. This is like a burnt orange and where can you go? I, well, Walmart probably has some that are real pretty for about that price. But I've not looked. Look at these beautiful maple leaves. I'm really falling in love with this color of blue. I don't know if you'd really call it a slate blue. But I'm really, I'm really digging this blue. And I may be starting to transition some stuff using this blue. And I have a uh, hutch already from my uh, late sister-in-law. And it's about this color. So I can see myself doing something in this color. More flowers. Looks like little feathers. I just thought it would help offset the floral part of it. All these are Greenbrier products. These are called Grass with Feathers. <laughs> I have woke up enough that I knew that, didn't I? Let me see. These are sunflowers. Let me see here. Maple leaves, which I think I already told you. Love maple leaves. Gerber daisies. Okay. Got me another shade of feathers and grass. Because I just think this will, when you put it together, it's not all floral. Of course, that be a little bit different. Get some hot to autumns. But you can see where all the feathers are a different color. Where I believe you can. And then this one. I think I got some more maple leaves. 
I'd like to have found some more with the little pumpkin in it and the little berries. But it is, it's a maple bouquet. But this one actually has a little pumpkin in it. And more Gerber daisies in a different color. My sister loves daisies and they are beautiful. So, yep, that's it for this haul. Thinking that I need to go get more vein, clean up a little bit more before you see me. Uh, Kenny's not back yet from taking Eli to school, which this seemed like it was a good time to work on some of my hauls. If you can put up with me like this in the mornings, well, well, better like this than when I first got up, trust me. I might take a picture one day. I might get brave enough, especially when Omi gets back. I don't know. But I'm going to go enjoy my coffee. I hope y'all have a good day, good evening, good night. And until next time, we'll talk soon. Good coffee. Cafe Pustello. Boost. Please still. <laughs>